Hey guys, I'm Matthew Francis, and I'm gonna show you how you can keep your avocados and your guacamole from turning brown. I'm not really gonna go into the details of the specific recipe that I'm using today because you can do whatever you like. I like a simple guacamole. For me, what I'm gonna do is to my avocado, I'm going to add in a little bit of some white onion, a good amount of salt, and some fresh lime juice. But again, you can do whatever you like. Now I'm just gonna come in with a fork and mash it all up. And you can go as smooth as you like or as chunky as you like. I like a little bit in between. Now keep in mind when you make guacamole or you're having avocados, you really wanna have it as fresh as possible. This isn't something that should even ever become brown because you wanna just use it right away. But let's say you make a batch for dinner and then you wanna save it to like have in the morning for breakfast because there was leftovers. You can always figure out a way to save it and have it not turn brown. What we're trying to do is prevent oxidation. Oxidation is when the oxygen in the air touches the surface of the guacamole or avocado and it turns the plant cells in the avocado brown. We don't want that. It gets too mushy, it kind of looks a little bit uh, gross and has somewhat of a bitter flavor. So we want to avoid that. So the first type of food hack I've seen on the internet is that people take uh, avocado pits and just like keep them in the guacamole and somehow magically, since the pits belong to the avocado, it'll keep it from turning brown. And that's not true. You might be able to avoid some of the brownage because the avocado is literally blocking the air, but the rest of it will turn brown after a day or so. Uh, some people take the actual like shells or like the peels of the avocado and try to flatten them out and cover it. And that's not gonna, again, prevent it from turning brown because they end up still curling up and it doesn't really work. One other trick I've seen is that sometimes people like to put in way more lime juice to prevent it from turning brown because acid does help prevent oxidation. But you have to put so much lime juice in there and it would be really, really, really acidic and it would be almost like inedible to keep it from turning brown. And so we don't want to ruin our guacamole just to prevent it from turning brown. So I would just say don't do the lime juice trick either. Another common thing to do that I even sometimes do is take some plastic wrap and push it down on top of the guacamole. And that will really help. Um, by the next day, you might just have a little bit of brown spots here and there. And if you mix it all together into the rest of the green guacamole below, you'll be fine. No one will notice. And that's what I like to do normally if I'm in a rush. But it's not perfect. You still will have some brown spots. Okay, so here's a crazy trick that actually does work really well to keep your guacamole from turning brown. What you're gonna do is take some water and pour about an inch or half an inch or so of a layer over the top and you're like, ew, I don't wanna have wet guacamole. But what's interesting is, is since the water completely covers the surface and there's zero space for any air to leak in, it doesn't turn the surface brown. And since water does not mix with fat and avocados are made of all fats, it doesn't mix in at all. You will be able to, when you wanna have your guacamole again, you can just take your little bowl or your little container and pour off the water, give it a little bit of a stir and you're good to go. And then for your avocados themselves, you're not gonna pour water onto a half and then keep it in the fridge, that won't work. So for that, I actually would use a saran wrap, cover it completely as tightly as you possibly can, and then just store it in the fridge and it's good to go. That's how you can take your avocados or your guacamole and keep it from turning brown. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to All Recipes. We make a ton of great videos that are helpful, have tips and tricks, and are gonna be incredibly useful for you at home in your kitchen. And don't forget to press our notification bell so you don't miss any of the great content we do make. And I'm Matthew Francis. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Enjoy your guacamole.